What's up, YouTube, ladies and gentlemen? Um, Primitive Puerto Rican bringing you here my first video. Um, this is my paintball gear bag. Let's get started. First, uh, I play woods ball. It's pretty much all I play. I don't play any speed ball. So this is a woods ball um, gear gear bag. Uh, first, I'll start with the um, headgear. Uh, I have my um, this is a, let's start with this one. This is a bandana, good old fashioned bandana. What I do is I wrap this around my forehead, giving me fore, forehead protection, being that my V-Force grills don't have a lot of forehead protection. This provides a play woods ball this is a uh, neck um, jelly coolant thing I'm not sure what to call it uh, basically it's full if it's filled with this uh, gelatin material much like the stuff you'll find in dampers uh, diapers um, uh, some people uh, feed their plants with it um, basically they're just crystals that absorb water and they turn a, a, a thousand times their size something like that and uh, basically this whole uh, tube fills up like almost a sausage and it stays cool so what it does is it uh, cools down my neck I dip it in a glass of water uh, or bottle of water right before the game uh, I start the day and this will stay full up to like a day or two after um, so I just hang it up in my laundry room and just let it uh, um, um, dehydrate I guess um, and turn back into crystals um, this is a uh, a uh, head wrap slash bandana uh, looks like a little biker uh, biker gang <laughs> uh, thing but uh, basically um, this I wrap around my head if uh, um, sun's too hot I have a scar in the back of my head so this kind of keeps my uh, my my scar nice and covered um, it irritates uh, sun irritates it a little bit but uh, you know if you're bald maybe um, I don't know I, I might go bald uh, but uh, uh uh, this will cover your head. Uh, good sun protection. Um, uh, last thing uh, for headwear. This is a beanie. Good old fashioned beanie. Um, I use this. Uh, I play here in Florida. So it might get a little hot. But as long as you stay hydrated man. Um, and you got a good system like this. Um, a beanie although it, it, it kind of conserves heat. Keeps traps heat in your head. Um, it's good for uh, bouncing balls if you're uh, playing somewhere where you can get hit above if you're in a trench or something this this comes in handy um, uh, I have a full head of hair right now but it still hurts so a beanie is good a layer of protection um, this is my vest I got this on ANS gear some slash most of this gear is from ANS, ANS gear .com. this is their generation X um, uh, line it's their cheapest line and quite honestly this is a very good uh, vest it has a bunch of pockets for different things uh, also the other side is full velcro down the other uh, side of this the reverse side and it comes with attachments for different kinds of things uh, 2 plus 1 pa um, uh, packs stuff like that I can do a review on this just let me know um, also uh, let me know in the comments below um, as far as uh, headgear I roll with a V-Force grill um, I love it. It's by far the best mask I've ever I've ever owned. Um, very squishy, very comfortable. This is a Generation Snacks cheap ANS gear uh, helmet uh, mask. I'm fixing. I'm putting a helmet on top for tactical gear, uh, tactical games. So uh, that's pretty much why I bought it. It's cheap. It was like 14 bucks. Um, these are some gloves I wear. I use uh, these Oakleys, these green Oakleys you see there. I use that more often. Uh, than most. Uh, those are some workout ones. These are some good old Craftsman leather, you know, uh, gloves. Whatever the occasion calls for, you know, it. I mean, it's, it could be a little overkill. Some people just carry one. I carry three. It doesn't take too much space in my bag. I'll leave it in my car if I don't need it. Um, you know, but I've had, I've had to use um, all three of them in different occasions. So, you know, I keep it. Um, as far as my leg wear, I found these cleats at Walmart. They're about 12 bucks. They're little starter cleats. I believe they were uh, uh, maybe football um, cleats. Um, they're uh, rubber on the bottom, uh, the teeth, and uh, they're they're a little heavy, um, but you know they get the job done. 
um, being that I'm in the woods, there are a lot of branches and stuff I have to crawl over. So I use uh, this ankle protection. I picked this up at the dollar store. It's a uh, it's a little um, extra ankle protection. Don't want to twist an ankle while I'm out there. Also, I have a uh, a Muller um, ankle uh, um, thing that supports your ankles. Uh, you know, you you don't want to have a bad day, twist an ankle or something. So you know, you just uh, you can take care of yourself as much as you want. Look down every time you walk, but you know, when you're sprinting and you're in the game, man, all you want to do is run. And um, it's good to know you have a little bit of protection there on your ankles. Um, here I have my barrels for my guns. I'll get to my guns in a second. Um, moving on over here, this is my pack. This is my pack I use all the time. It's a Titman 2 plus 1. Uh, my tank is a 48 6000. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. It's made by Gorilla Air. I have two um, large size pods. These are the die lock lids. And I also have four um, 50 round. Um, for my Titman A5, I have a tack cap on it. So uh, um, I don't need, you know, this uh, this large container here. I can use a smaller 50 round and fill up the tack cap. So um, this is just a two, um, two pod holder. That's the visor for the cheap mask there. Um, this is uh, just my cleaning kit. In here I have a bunch of tools, screwdrivers, cloths, allen wrenches, everything I need for my guns and my masks and my gear. Everything's in there, spare battery, springs, everything. Um, there I have some deodorant, some uh, sunscreen, some dust, uh, computer dust, duster. It's, an, it's a compressed air bottle basically. It, it comes in handy when cleaning. I have a multi-use um, wipes and stuff there. Um, just uh, good old fashioned cleaning, cleaning stuff, you know, you don't want to, you don't want to leave the field because you forgot your, um, your Allen wrench, you know, or you don't want to go buy something, so, you know, better prepare. Um, this is my remote line, um, this is my uh, old, uh, trigger for my trigger frame for my A5, that's the standard one. Um, I do have a Tipman Cronus, um, I can do a review on it and show you that I can shoot better than most of the guns out there, um, after all the mods I've done to it, I put a put a pretty penny in it, um, and made a a sleeper, if you will. If anybody knows about cars, I, I made a sleeper, um, sleeper marker gun. Um, here's my um, homemade um, pod holder. Holds about half a case, I believe, and um, yeah, it's homemade out of a pod and a protein shake. Um, bottle I can do a review on that everything here I can do a review on just let me know this is a quick you know short video I don't want to do anything too elaborate um, this is my Tipman Cronus it has been modded this is the stock barrel um, basically for close quarter combat other than that the, the barrel is garbage um, it is A5 threaded um, I've put a new hammer different hammer in it um, I put a, a stock on it I've put uh, upgraded o-rings on it um, yeah upgraded o-rings I know um, ANS gear had them, bought them, they were cheap, um, uh, grip, um, ASA has been working very well, I haven't had any issues with it, it's internal ASA, doesn't run through the outside, uh, it's side feed, um, upgraded springs, I've done some stuff to it, just let me know if you want me to do a review on it, these are my pods, my barrels, I have a barrel kit for the A5, and the Acronis, if you want to say so, because they're both A5 threaded. So I can use all of these barrels on both of my guns. Um, that's something to keep in mind when you're buying guns. Um, if you think you're going to buy another gun or you want to, see if you can find something with the same thread. It's a bonus. Um, definitely don't have to. You can have different two barrel threads, but I'm mean, two barrel threaded guns. Um, but, uh, you know, this kit costs close to 200 bucks. So, you know, you don't want to spend, if you want barrel kits on both, $400, you know, plus the gun itself. So, you know, this is my route. Um, this is the low profile A5. I believe this is the, um, this comes, this comes uh, stock with the Titman A5. This is my Titman A5. Let me get out of the, let's not cast a shit shadow here. This is my A5, Titman A5. I have a E-trigger on it. I have a stock on it. Also have a uh, um, a harness for it, a sling. Uh, I have a little scope. The scope actually works. It has a green dot scope because uh, the barrel kit. The barrel kit is so well that I can shoot very straight. So I can actually use a scope on this gun. Um, I have a no kick 
um, hammer. I didn't like it. I kind of like the kick. Um, yeah, it throws off your accuracy a little bit. But I three round burst or single shoot. I rarely ever fully auto unless I really want to blow money. Or I just want to get rid of my pain at the end of the day. And don't find anyone to give it to. Um, but other than that, uh, I'm alright with that. Um, this is a Proto Barrel. Cheap. On um, ANS gear. It's uh, 14 inches I believe. And um, over th somewhere over there is my um, my gear bag as far as my uniform and stuff. Um, usually I play with shorts or something, but uh, I have uniform too. If anybody wants to uh, play like a tactical game or something, I'll I'll dress up. It makes the experience cooler, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is my video. Let me know if you need or want any a review or uh, in-depth explanation of anything that's here. Um, this is my first video, so forgive me of a uh, camera shake or I don't know whatever you know whatever's not a uh, normal um, here on YouTube but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys um, you know picked up some information on on something here and uh, happy paintballing guys God bless bye bye <laughs>